Alright, what's going on everybody over at Doom Tasty's channel? My name is Matt, and you guys have heard me before on here doing another guest commentary as part of this V2 Rocket series, and I'm back again with another one. Tasty was gracious enough to allow me to do another one of these, and I'm bringing you guys today a bar V2 Rocket. This is the episode, of course, 6 in this series, and he's using the Flyboy 2 variant, which is the most rare variant in the game, and honestly, that does take a lot of grinding, and wait, wait, wait. What is this I see here? He's playing on... on... <coughs> <coughs> Gustav... <coughs> Cannon. He's playing on Gustav Cannon. Wow, man, this is genuinely, genuinely an honorable feat here. Putting up with this piece of shit long enough to actually end up getting a V2 rocket is just astounding. So, hopefully you guys enjoy that in the background. And man, I wanted to kind of do a, a sort of a continuation of what I spoke with you guys about last time on here. And I wanted to actually discuss my thoughts on a sort of upcoming YouTube trend, at least in our community at the moment, which has been kind of the weirdest thing that I've seen in my five years of doing YouTube. And this is actually the, the odd kind of clash, the odd kind of fall of World War II recently, and the uprising of Black Ops 1 in, in Fortnite. It's kind of a weird combo, I'm going to be honest with you. But recently, we've seen a lot of people going back to the older CODs and live streaming it. And Fortnite has just been soaring even more than we even could have expected. It just surpassed 40 million downloads. I mean, that's absolutely nuts. And again, since the mode is free, I think people kind of get that a little bit more in their heads. They go, wait a minute, you know what, why not give it a shot? But still, man, that is still really, really impressive. And as someone who's been enjoying this game for such a long time, I actually invested in the Battle Pass. And I gave Epic Games a $10 bill because I felt that their content and their game had earned it. And I think a lot of people feel the same way. And even on Twitter, a tweet that has went semi-viral overnight, it's got like 130,000 likes, almost 40k retweets, and it's basically, you know, Fortnite has brought back that middle school night, late night gaming. And that's kind of what a lot of people kind of feel, including myself, even though I just graduated middle school a few months ago, but including myself, I feel that same type of way. And I think the reason why this has happened is simply because those newer games just simply aren't cutting it. And the Activision CEO actually just left a few days ago. Whether or not that has any correlation to the success of World War II, I don't know per se. But regardless, they're still going to constantly put devs in a lot of pressure, really, because Activision is all about the dollar sign. And I think we've all known that for years now, but it really has become evident when all these other games, including their old successes, Black Ops 1, MW2, when these older games are surpassing their newer ones in 2018. It's absolutely nuts, honestly. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down below in the comments about this. I thought I'd kind of give you guys just a little fill on kind of what I what I really think about this whole situation at the moment. It's definitely unusual, definitely peculiar. And I really think it was something that, you know, is good. A whole benefit for the community because we have a wide array of options. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Later. By the way, my channel is down below in the description. If you guys enjoyed the commentary, I'm down below if you're interested. Thank you so much.